September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer in American men, but an innovative treatment is helping many to maintain quality of life. According to American Cancer Society, one out of nine men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer during his lifetime. Ted was diagnosed two years ago at the age of 71. The percentage of men my age that do come down with it is quite high. And so I wasn't, I was startled. Obviously, no one wants to find out they have cancer, but uh, I wasn't shocked. However, Ted found out he was a prime candidate for a type of treatment called HIFU. It stands for High Intensity Focused Ultrasound. The procedure has been around for quite a while, but it wasn't approved for use on prostate cancer in the U.S. until 2015. The HIFU procedure is basically a high intensity. September is prostate blast the cells away. Urologic surgeon Dr. Andre Abreu with Keck Medicine of USC says there's a spectrum of patients who develop prostate cancer. Some are very low risk, meaning they have very little cancer. They're chosen for active surveillance where they are closely watched to make sure they don't develop more cancer. Others have very advanced forms of cancer and need radical treatment like radiation or removal of the prostate. Then there are patients in the middle who largely benefit from HIFU. In between, there are some patients with intermediate risk disease that are not the best candidate for us to watch them to do active surveillance. However, the radical treatment will probably be associated with side effects. Side effects like leaking urine or issues with erectile dysfunction. Some of these patients, they will be even willing to trade off some years of life, but having more quality of life. But a study at Keck Medicine of USC shows focal hyphal ablation carries a low risk of complication and can help preserve quality of life. That was certainly the case for Ted. I experienced very little pain with the procedure. I took ibuprofen, which is an over-the-counter pain reliever. And the only negative thing that I did experience was wearing a catheter for a week. Haifu is repeatable. Haifu is non-invasive. HIFU is an outpatient procedure. Outpatient procedure meaning the patient can be in and out of the hospital in one day without staying overnight. For Ted, it only took three hours. He says he would recommend the procedure to other men in a similar situation. As I understand it, it's been used in Europe for 15 years already with, with no problems. Um, so I, I think to take advantage of the technology that's there is something that doctors should rely on. I'm Elizabeth Ruiz reporting.